Are you ready for a daily? It's just you and me again, everybody. Me and myself and I playing. Gonna do a daily run? It's been about eight hours with the people doing this before. It's a Maggie run, and we are going as far as the mom fight, so we might as well just do this straight off the bat. Yeah, that was worthwhile. So Maggie's slow, but tanky. Uh, <laughs> do I want it that much? I wish I'd gone in there first, because I could have got the HP back. We're on the uh, cellar as well, which means harder enemies, harder dodges to make up. Let's just pretend that I meant to do that. Okay. I'll get us into the shop, but there's not much point in doing so. I, I don't know how much I want, number one. I don't know if I want to waste a, you know, a black heart on it. If we can find some sort of invincibility, that would be splendid. Or I might spend a bomb on it. That might be worth more than the black heart at this stage of the game. These guys are super annoying. We keep hanging out over the rocks. If you want to run to the fire, that is absolutely fine with me. Come on then. Come on then. Any time today. Hello? <laughs> Guy! Okay. That's every room except the boss room, which is a small room. So this could be difficult. It's a mini monster to fight. Uh, this shouldn't be too difficult. I guess you just have to dodge underneath him when he... <laughs> Help! <laughs> when he jumps over you. Please jump over me. Okay, he did leave me some room. The mom fight is not too far. Although, at the speed that Maggie fights at, it could nevertheless seem like a very long way. I don't know how I'm avoiding these shots. Just pretend that it's my skill. I had a look before I started playing. I have 306 hours. 306 hours. But I got the job done, knocking out that black heart. We'll take this. I might as well. Uh, I've only got half a black heart left, but I kind of want number one because the tears upgrade is so valuable for Maggie. We didn't get a single bomb. It's not even a very large floor. That's the trouble. We should probably shoot this poop so you can get anything. Nope. That's okay. There's more here. Very well. I will spend the time and I will do the backtracking and the poop shooting and a penny. We don't even have a bomb to get to the secret room, which is inevitably next to us here. Well, consider it done. Please pick it up. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose another. Well, not that losing a red heart. At this stage, is that big a deal? So our range is down, but our shot speed, uh, fire rate, is considerably buffed. Thanks to number one, we'll head down. I don't have a lot to say. This is just a bog standard run. We're not going to go into the curse room right off the bat because it will probably ruin our deal with the devil chance, which is going to be very valuable for us as Maggie. But we're on a normal old fashioned cellar. Excuse me, thank you. Uh, which I've spent many a lost run dying on. Please come this way and don't explode near me. Thank you. The, the range downgrade against these things is a big deal, as it turns out, because you have to get close enough to them to hit them. Oh, brilliant, the poop, thank you. Such a, a very wonderful, generous gift you've given me there, game. And two bombs that I can't access. But with any luck, we'll get bombs at some point. And I would have to say it's probably a good idea to use that one bomb if we ever get it. And it's changed for two bombs. That's a half a heart, but nice try. You can see that you're... You know, trying to do me the favour there again, but your heart's in the right place, I, I appreciate that. More keys? Fine. Uh, we're probably going to have to deal with that long, thin room. Oh, maybe not. We've already decided we don't want our item. And speed is of the essence, as I've said previously. So, let's not get hit. I wonder how other people decided to do that first uh, item room, because these uh, these item rooms with the adjusted value proposition, as it were, are new to Afterbirth. Previously, it would be an item in an item room, and the worst you would probably get is that you'd walk into a fire by not paying attention when you go into the item. 
But these ones where you actually have to take damage to get the item. I don't know whether this number one... Ow! That really hurt. And there goes our deal with the devil. Never mind. Uh, I don't know whether this number one is worth the damage we took. Because I think that's the first damage I've taken on this floor. Had we not taken number one, we still have the black heart, which would have done a considerable amount of damage to... Ah! Help! All of these fistula parts, which... To be honest, we'll probably just split it into a lot of very difficult to avoid pieces. So maybe it's not that big a deal. Of course, I haven't taken damage on the monstro fight. I would have had more HP right now. We'll finish these off. Try not to get too close, but you have, you have to with number one. I was hoping to get a chain reaction going. Uh, Magic Mushroom is probably going to help us a lot. We might as well go to the Curse Room because we can heal ourselves very easily, because we haven't had a better option than Yum Heart for our spacebar rise and all this. It's probably going to take some time. Oh yeah, brilliant. So curse rooms are different now too. They can have... Uh, okay, brilliant. That was definitely not worth it. Absolutely definitely not worth it. Maggie. Speed. Really feeling it right now. Oh, there's one there. Never mind. Come on, we need to get a press on. We're barely ahead of the boss rush timer. In fact, we're basically perfectly on par with the boss rush timer. I'm going to work on the assumption that uh, big rooms are worth getting out of the way. Sometimes it's probably a good idea to avoid the big rooms because they're more dangerous. But I'm going to suggest that actually just get it sorted out. You do get two charges, we've discovered, for completing a big room. So, there is that. I'd like to get... Oh, there's a bomb, finally. Maybe we can bomb our way into our curse room. That would be nice. We need a second one. Ah, that's exactly what I needed. We won't go into there unless we determine that it's a shop. Uh, the other one. Library. Now, where is... <laughs> Where's the door? Probably here? Well, we'll never know. Ah, no thank you. Very much not a fan of this particular situation. Again, having the number one has probably been more harm than good. I don't know. The tears upgrade has been quite useful. We're not doing a reasonable amount of damage for this stage of the game. This seems... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wondered how the uh, chat was going to articulate the concept of Three question marks. Now we know. Oh, that was really bad. I don't know what the, uh, the pill did. I don't think it's three question marks in the sense of blue baby. Ah, uh, we really want to find our item room before we go in there. I don't think we're strong enough. But it's you know it's it's caves, so we're not very unlikely to uh, find it difficult. Wait, we're not likely to find it too difficult, but at the same time, we want to get as much as far ahead as we can, because our last item room was pants, and our first item room has been a mixed blessing. I would like one of these to break up so that I don't have to... This is a, a very awkward room to really know how to deal with. Just dips now. Our individual shots are nice and powerful. I think that's a good sign. I mean, I think they're a good amount of power. D12. What's this? Do? Rerolls rocks. Interesting. Do I want to reroll rocks? Let's find out. Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's probably quite good because we're hurting the bombs. Uh, I'm just going to move on. I prefer in this D12 over the Yum Heart. It's new, it's exciting, it's interesting. I've not seen it before. I don't have any idea how to use it, except for the obvious you push the button and rocks get rerolled. Good. Colorblind mod doesn't really help with the uh, Gurdy fight. Uh, I still don't have a good idea of whether this is the champion Gurdy or not, so I'm just going to hope that it. I'm paying enough attention to you know, duck. 
think this is Champion Gurdy, so all it's going to do is spawn these flies and familiars. All we have to look out for, therefore, is those particular flies, those ones, shooting from behind him. What's just happened? There's another one there. Don't get hit. This uh, boss fight turned out to be a lot easier than I gave it credit for being. Let's get deal with the devil, and the pentagram is going to help. Nine lives, though. I'll take it. This is a terrible idea, but I've got 9 lives rather than 9 HP now, so... It is what it is. We're still just on the boss rush time, so we're not... You know, we're not insanely slow. For Maggie, we're kind of powerful. I've had some terrible Maggie runs in the past where you just never get any... Uh, any benefits out of it. I'm going to try and avoid taking red heart damage if it's highly possible. Because we do have a better devil chance as a result of the pentagram, so... If I can avoid screwing that up by getting hit, it's going really well. I don't want to jeopardise that by drawing attention to it. Oh, there's some good play going on here. You don't mind me saying, and there's several bombs. That's exactly what we need. Hopefully we can find the secret room. Hopefully this secret room is valuable for us as well. I wonder whether the uh, rerolls are seeded. That would be interesting to find out, because... Anybody else who doesn't know what the D12 does would have immediately gone out and re-rolled You know, that, that same Mushrooms room that I re-rolled. That was close. Um, but if they'd gone looking for pills in the Mushroom room first, they might not have got the Burnt Penny and as a result... I'll just fight the boss. Oh god. <laughs> Did these get re-rolled? No, just rocks. Okay. We got re-rolled into that. That has happened, but they didn't get re-rolled out of it. Okay, now we're dodging horrible bullet hell, bullet shit. You don't mind me. Pardon my language. Also, how did that take red dot damage? Never mind. Experimental treatment will do. It has made our shots a lot bigger, so I'm going to hope those shots are a lot more powerful. Uh, I'm stuck on a hole. Let's find our item room and then go. We haven't really got enough cash to even think about going to the shop right now, although we could probably go to this double key room and immediately re-roll everything. Oh, that wasn't good. Hello? Thank you. We can re-roll everything. Then I shall. That was close. Uh, now we have Ipecac. You see, I should probably stop reading uh, Edmund's tweets, because this will be the reroll that Edmund was tweeted about, had tweeted about earlier on today. So I'm going to presume that the dailies roll over on US time, meaning that. Oh, I see what's happened. Now I understand why it's a dangerous reroll. I'm uh, probably going to have to take this as a result of the fact that... Oh my god, help. We do have nine lives, though. Don't forget that. This may not have been a good idea. But we do know that the rerolls are seeded. So everybody else who didn't know what was going to happen was found out. It seems to have a... What's this? The, um... Ball of tar? Sticky feet? Very slow, probably as a result of the thunder thighs I just picked up. Let's <laughs> let's try and kite these through the fire and try not to shoot near the walls. We've got enough money to make this worth our fucking cost for fucking green. And I haven't got enough speed to completely get out of the way of those. I have to rely on my complete inability to actually dodge a triple shot. Oh my god, so many bombs. I'm kind of considering that maybe we should not buy them. Uh, buy them. Go for them. Pick them up. We'll leave. It's going to be very difficult to avoid red heart damage from now on. Especially with the temperance card. Which is just encouraging us to spoil our run. We do have nine lives, of course, but this one has... Um, two HP. Which is a... Double what we would normally have if we died, so we kind of avoid dying if we can. And of course, we've lost our D12 as a result of the reroll. Probably could have told you that this reroll was a 
bad idea just from the fact that Twitter said it was. But I've forgotten. Oh, it's so slow. I've got to fill in the time whilst we creep around this god awful place. But we're nearly there. It's not going to be a very long daily. We'll go down to the little room first, get it out of the way. Help! Help! Because <laughs> I'll deal with the devil. I mean, not necessarily, but quite likely. What have we got here? Speed up! Oh, that's very nice. Uh, I shan't go to the cursed room. You may be wondering why. Well, you shouldn't be wondering why. It should be really obvious. It's going to cost me a full HP to do it. I've only got one and a half. If we die, then I'll probably spend a second life on it. But until that was very risky. <laughs> oh, we died. As predicted by prophecy. I won't be going back into that room, but we will go to the curse room. I'm thinking that we explode the wall in the curse room in order to die. Because we could find a secret room. I don't know if the secret room can be attached to those sides of a thin room, actually. I can assume not. Well, we know it's this way. Again, with the trolley seeds. <laughs> and the fact that Edmund mentioned it. I'm half, still half innocent. Let the conspiracy theories fly. But this is all done on purpose, I'm sure of it. However, we can crack into these and maybe get some demon hearts. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't really want any. No, I was just doing it for the shits. Oh, of course we got thunder fires, so we don't even need to blow them up. Perfect. Like, that's another vector of, of change, though, isn't it? Because if you went to the item room before you did the reroll, you wouldn't necessarily have... I think it was thunder fires we got on that particular floor. So if you'd done the reroll... Ah, that was bad. Why have I got invincibility? Oh, we have Virgo. That means all our... Um, pills. Are these going to be worth trying? You know. Which is how pills work, you know? IRL, I'm talking. There we go. Uh, one more. Okay. We've generally managed to avoid excessive damage to ourselves. Ah, except for that, which was terrible. Well, oh, there's Virgo Invincibility. Is that Virgo Invincibility? I think so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there's a new type of super secret room. And it's going to be the type of wall master that hurts like shit. Oh, no. Again, don't do what I did. Step away from the wall before you do that. Question marks. Marks. <laughs> Okay, he said it differently. Please no greed. We've done both greeds. Uh, we don't have a space for item, so we should take this and we should see what this is. Judgment. Judgment, which is not very good for us. We can blow him up. To try and speed up again. Speed nice. Up. Try and make up for the fact that we have very much put a lot of... Uh, a lot of negative pressure, shall we say, on the devil showing up at the end of this floor. Excuse me? Please leave the flies out of it. Oh, screw the bomb. We've got 25 of them and we're not using them. Because we're already exploding. And a host. And... Oh, seriously? There we go. Death. Well, we use this in here. You die. Ah... Uh, <laughs> I, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating, I do apologise. I have to not shoot him when I'm standing next to a wall, just in case his own troll item crack jokes. Okay, that's actually speed upgrade, which is probably going to be very helpful for us. Especially considering we have so many bombs and we haven't found the item room, which upsets me slightly. Do you know what? I'll just blow this up. Temperance. Money, okay. Well, we have a second HP now. Where did that come from? I have no idea. But answers on a postcard, please. Oh, when did we get Curse of the Maze? That's the first time it's actually shown up. And we are going so slowly. This is unbelievable. See, this is why we upload them the day after they've happened. Because if you're playing this daily, 
He did it yesterday, from the time this video goes up. I'm gonna talk slowly to make up for how slow the run is. Oh my god, is it even worth going to the item room? If this item room is shit, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Uh, it's decent, especially considering we are very slow. So this is actually going to help. And another devil card. I'm a fan of this. Uh, where are we going? Help. So we sped up, but we've spent a lot of time on getting the speed up, and we've used a key. Sacrificed to the key gods. Oh, fuck me. No, oh, this way. Right, good. Let me out. It makes a noise now when you get close to the maze, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to keep the goat hoof even though um, the burnt penny is there. Because... shit, help. Well, that didn't help. We're going to die. We're going to die right here. Use the... oh no. Get rid of that. Do that. Shit. How are we going to do this room without exploding ourselves to death? Well, first we'll see if there's anything in here to help. There is not. Do I die inside or outside? Okay. Well, I'll take damage again. No. Just go fuck yourself. <laughs> what is this? This is the worst daily. Can you die, please? Oh, well, it kind of helped. Here, you can have that. You can have that. If it weren't for the locust horns aspect of this room, I think I'd be happy with it. But as it is, you, there we go. The the <laughs> the burny part of the bombs of the Ipecac bombs is brilliant. You know, we're leaving these fires everywhere. It's fantastic. It means we get all these other enemies just we troll them by leading them into the fires that we've made. But the locust horns aspect is just horrendous, and Spelunker Hat is utterly useless. Except for that particular part there. That's a weird transition. Okay. Pretty fly. Pretty fly. For a white guy. Lemon party. Oh, that would have been useful. But we'll go to the shop. And we get hive mind, which probably won't help. We never know. I'm sure. We'll see if we can get a decent oh, move. Not really useful. The devil it is. Devil take you. Please let the boss be this direction. I don't see a tin to drop. And I don't have my D12 anymore. That was short lived. Uh, you're slowing down because of my creep. And I'm failing to hit the fires. There we go. Not really using the blue candle, I can't help but knowledge rather than notice. Um. I mean, I should be. <laughs> It does a considerable amount of damage. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get a spirit heart or some sort of survivability out of this. Uh, Joker? Two spades. Two of spades. Not really helpful. So this is going to be fun. We're going to have to try and beat the mom for Jeez, help. <laughs> what do? And of course, everything I do is going to be in danger of locust hornsing myself. We'll do this. Shit. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Great. That happened. Well, the hosts won't be there, I hope. Yeah, they've gone. But there's another one. Am I just going to get hosts out of this entirely? I feel like this could be more helpful to me than it presently is being. There is a Joker card. So we could get something from the devil. Out now. Nope. Probably should have just used the devil card in here, but never mind. Devil, what have you got for me, Krampus? Stop it. Stop it. Can't believe I dodged that. Can you just die more quickly? Perfect. These, uh... These new devil rooms are... more devilish. The Olympic Cold is probably not going to help me in any respect, and it's the Emperor card. Um, I don't think the Emperor card is going to help because I'm reasonably convinced that the boss is just around the corner anyway. Uh, I did quite well on that room, I don't. If I do say so much. Let me blow my own trumpet a little bit there. 
uh, we were playing well until I got Ipecac, uh, like a song. And now I'm playing badly. I'm playing as well as one can expect to play when one's been trolled by Edmund into picking up Ipecac, Locust Horns. And I didn't get a single good thing out of this room, even though there's that many skulls on it. I was very disappointed. Oh, that was really good, actually. So I can get something out of this. No. Here's the boss, though. Let's just die. Please? Thank you. Ouch. Ah, bomb rock! Well, let's deal with that <laughs> independently. Look, we're not going to be doing any better or worse. This could be the one. We really need to be in the middle and then paying a lot of attention to the foot. Because <laughs> I've already lost one daily to the foot! That never does a full HP. That's crazy. Uh, excuse me? Did my fire just hurt me? I believe that is what just happened. Oh, it's done. Well done, me. Well, I did that. I hope you didn't re-roll if you played that. But thank you for watching. That's even worse rank than the previous one. I'm suspecting that a lot of people just didn't re-roll that and did very well. Uh, but I did re-roll it. Uh, thank you for watching. That was an interesting daily. I wish I'll upload tomorrow, so obviously we'll see how you did then. Oh my god, my brain is just frazzled from that, all that dodging. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.